Hey guys, Rick Stone here from Stony Acres Gardening. It is April 3rd, 2023, and this is my garden. What the heck? I am so tired of snow. We just keep having snowstorm after snowstorm after snowstorm. We are literally on record as the biggest snow storm season ever here in Utah. We have more water up on our mountains right now than we've ever had before. That could be a problem a little bit later in the spring, but it is a big problem for me right now because I wanna be outside planting in my garden and I can't because every three days we get about this much snow and then it melts and then we get more and it melts and the next two to three days we're going to have just constant snow. So when I woke up this morning I was so frustrated and I was just like I have got to get something planted in my garden and so I'm going to do a video today on what you can do to get things planted in your garden when it's still snowing. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to use some of these. So I've got some three gallon smart pots that we are going to be planting in. And the idea here is we're going to plant inside in my garage. We're going to water them in and we're going to leave them inside for the next two or three days where it's warmer. Hopefully we'll start to get some germination and then by then, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of this week, we're supposed to warm up again before another storm. And so I'll bring them outside. We'll put them out here on this patio that I'm standing on right now. It's a concrete patio, nice and warm. And so hopefully we can get something growing in my garden. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. Let's go inside and get these planted. Hey guys, welcome inside where it's not snowing. Before we get started, please make sure you get subscribed to my channel and go follow us over on Instagram as well. We'd love to have you join us there. And then a big thank you to Smart Pots. They were willing to sponsor this kind of last minute video. You can see I've got a pretty good selection of these are all three gallon Smart Pots. They come from one gallon. Uh, they've got three gallon, five gallon, 10 gallon, 15, 20, 100. They just have a ton of different varieties of these Smart Pots. They come in a lot of different colors. And so great product, they're made here in the USA, uh, very durable, BPA free, best grow bag on the market in my opinion. I love Smart Pots and so I uh, appreciate them sponsoring. If you wanna learn more about them, their website is smartpots.com. If you go there and you're gonna buy something, make sure you use the discount code STONEY, S-T-O-N-E-Y, and that'll get you 10% off your purchase. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, I've got all of these pots. I chose the smaller pots mainly because I need to be able to carry them in and out. So I want to get them planted today. I'm going to leave them here in the garage where it's warm right now. This, this garage this time of year stays 40 to 50 degrees even when it's colder outside. So this is a good place to get them started on their germination journey. So we're going to plant um, six different pots here. I've got some uh, leaf lettuce. This is actually, this is a butter crunch lettuce that I have been growing indoors for about nine weeks. They're, they need to get out of these containers. And so we're going to plant a container with those. And then I'm going to plant some carrots, some radishes, some spinach, a couple of different lettuces, and some pak choy. So the first thing that we want to do with our containers is fill them up. And one thing that you need to make sure that you are aware of is there's a specific type of soil that we should be putting in these containers, okay? We should be using a potting mix. You can't use soil from your garden. You can't use seedling mix. You can't use topsoil, and you can't use all compost, okay? We want to get a good quality, uh, good quality potting mix. And the, the potting mix that I chose to use is called Kellogg's. It's available nationwide in the United States. I think they sell it at Home Depot, uh, fairly easy to get a hold of. And so uh, I filled these containers up with that. Now, two of these containers were actually containers that I had from last year. So they had already been filled and they already had soil in them. So, so what I did before I filled or before I planted in these is I went ahead and added a little bit of compost and then I added a couple of handfuls of an organic fertilizer just to kind of freshen things up. Uh, the, these grew all season last season. The soil needs a little refresh and so the compost and the, the combination of the compost and the fertilizer is going to freshen that soil up really nicely. Uh, let's kind of just go through and get them planted. So first off, Let's look at some carrots. Carrots are fairly easy to plant and especially in containers. Nice thing about carrots is, is that they 
they you know do well in a container as long as the container is about six inches deep you should be able to do pretty well with carrots now carrots are really hard to plant because the seeds are so small so I'm going to do my best here to get some spacing of about an inch apart on each of these a little bit tough to do with carrots and so I will probably end up having to thin but ultimately here I want to end up with about oh 15 or 20 plants in this little pot uh, should do pretty well so we'll get those carrots in then we're going to do the pak choy Pak choy is a little bit easier to plant, a slightly bigger seed. We'll plant these back here. I like pak choy for salads, and so I actually don't usually let it grow very big. Part of the reason why is because here in Utah, we have such weird short springs that um, pak choy always goes to seed before it reaches kind of that big beautiful maturity that we're used to seeing. So I like to just plant it fairly thick. So instead of, you know, just two or three plants in here, we're actually going to put about 15 seeds in here. Again, kind of just evenly spaced around and we will harvest these almost like, it, like a, a leaf lettuce uh, more than anything else in those. Um, next we have radishes and I love radishes. Most of my family doesn't. There's only two of us that do. And so it's always good to kind of just plant a container or two of radishes. And this year I've got some watermelon radishes that we're going to plant. And again, radishes actually do pr fairly well planted pretty close together. And so I am just going to give them about an inch or two spacing between each seed and it's nice because you can control them a little bit easier. Uh, then I've got this little pot over here. I ran out of soil and I was desperate. I had to get something planted. So this one's not quite as full as the others. That's another nice thing about the Fabric Smart Pots is you can fold them down uh, when they're not quite as full. We're going to plant two different types of lettuce in this one and these are both leaf lettuces. So you don't have to fuss too much about spacing with these. I'm going to plant a little oak leaf right here and I think that's enough oak leaf and then we will go with a little bit of black seeded Simpson which is another nice leaf lettuce and leaf lettuces do really well in containers because they like the intense planting and it's okay to kind of just just plant those in here so again we're shooting for you know roughly 15 or so seeds uh, in there and if I need to I'll thin probably won't need to with the leaf lettuce and then the last seeds that I'm going to plant are some spinach and again spinach fairly easy to plant uh, spinach plants get pretty big and so we are going to be a lot more cautious on how many we want in here I only want about six or eight seeds in that container so that's all we're going to put there then let's get these guys planted so um, I think we'll use this container right here to plant our lettuce starts in and I've got four of them here and these containers are perfect for that many. Uh, this is a butter crunch lettuce. They don't get really huge and so I think four is going to be really nice in this container. So we'll just go really easy to plant these guys. With all of these seeds that we've planted is we want to get just a little bit of soil on top and I'm not a big fan of using the potting soil to cover the seeds with. It's a, now is what we want to do a bit heavier sometimes it has quite a bit of you know wood and, and things like that in it and so to cover up my seeds when I'm actually planting seeds in a container I want to use just a little bit of seedling mix. So this is just some seedling mix that I have and I'm just going to put a little layer of this seedling mix over the top of my seeds. We only want about a quarter of an inch. We just need to get those covered up. All of these are very small seeds. And so a quarter of an inch of this seedling mix is going to take care of it. You want to just tamp it down just a little bit so that it, uh, we have good contact between the soil and the seeds. And then away we go. Now, we're next, we're going to water these in really good. So the soil was already wet when I put it in the containers, but we do want to get a good water on these seedlings so that they, these seeds, so that they get wet. 
and, uh, and then we'll make sure that we keep that soil moist up here on the surface to help us get those to germinate quickly. And then the plan is, when it's a nice day, I'm gonna take them outside. We'll put them on that, that porch that I was on at the first of the video. It's nice and sunny, it's south facing concrete, and so it'll be nice and warm. We'll put those out during the day. If the temperatures at night are gonna drop below about 35 degrees Fahrenheit, which is one or two degrees Celsius, if it drops below that, I'm probably gonna bring them in uh, at night. But if it stays above 35, I'll probably leave them out because they'll warm right back up first thing in the morning when the, the sun comes back out. I know that we've got days in the 50s and the 60s coming soon. Hopefully the snow will finish. And so this will get me a little bit of a head start because I can't actually get out in the garden and do any planting. So pots, especially smart pots, are the perfect thing to fill in and get something going. So again, in when it's cold and snowy, out when it's sunshiny, and we should be able to get these to germinate. Hopefully most of them will germinate in about 10 days. Carrots might take a little bit longer than that. And then by then, hopefully weather will have kind of changed and, and we can keep them outside. And this will be the first of our planted garden for this year. Okay, I think that's it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Just, I was going crazy. I needed to get something planted. Thought I'd do a video for you. Uh, let me know what you thought about this format. Again, a big thanks to Smart Pots. Go check out their products at smartpots.com. Discount code is STONEY, S-T-O-N-E-Y. Gets you 10% off. I appreciate them sponsoring this video today. They always come through and are, are big supporters of us here on our channel, so we appreciate that as well. So thank you. Make sure you go check them out. And, and there is a link also down in the description of this video you can click on to check them out as well. Okay, I think that's it. I'll let you know how these go. I'll kind of give you an update as, as we go along, but I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you get subscribed, follow us over on Instagram as well, and we will talk to you a little bit later this week with another video. Happy gardening.